G'day, my name's Darrell Webb. Today we're going to have a look at personal solar panels. Uh, we're going to give one a little bit of a test, see how much power they actually really put out. And we're going to talk about whether they're suitable for hiking, camping, fishing out of a kayak or a boat. So stay tuned for that. Okay, so we're going to start off with, I've got two devices that are, my phone's down to 54% and my, ooh, it's hard to see, my phone's down to 55, uh, tablet's down to 55%. So, they're two pretty high current devices. Um, what I'll do is, I've got a couple of little meters here, and I'll actually plug them in, so you can actually see how many um, milliamp hours and that actually comes out of it at the end of the test. Um, I'll run it like this so I can run the two devices out of one outlet so I can actually see how many milliamps. So I want a USB-C for my phone, and I want a micro USB for the tablet. Now, you won't be able to see these while they're in it because they face the wrong way. Anyway, but we'll put them in. Alright, we've got some good amps there. So, now we'll just plug these guys in. Yep, it's charging. I felt it buzz. Put that under there out of the sun. Get my phone. Yep, it's charging, 54%. All right, I'm gonna lay them under there. The sun's pretty high in the sky at the moment. It's uh, a bit after one o'clock, I think it was. I actually just checked that. I'll take note of that time. It is 1.34. So we'll try that in an hour. I'm gonna leave it like this. Um, the sun's, I said the sun's pretty high. It's about a 20 degree day, and we'll see how it goes. So now, I've got to wait an hour. Anyway, it's a good day for a tinny. It's a bit early, but it is Saturday. Now, we'll talk about pros and cons for this little guy. Um, I'll start with some cons. They don't work well if they're not pointed reasonably at the sun. Um, it's just part of life with solar. Uh, if you envisioned being able to stick it on your backpack and walk around through you know, cloudy and partly sunny tracks and all of a sudden by the time you got back to camp at night you would have charged up your power bank and put, you know, 12,000 milliamp hours back into it. It's not going to happen like that. It might do over the whole day to charge, say, a phone, but but that's about it. Um, if you want to charge up some big items, um, I vape and I film and so I've got cameras, batteries that need recharging and all these other things. The only way to do that is to spend some time, spend a day in camp and you'll get your two amps out of it and you can sort of over the whole day you can charge everything right back up. Uh, that's part of the pros I guess is it will do it if you've got the time. If you're in a boat or somewhere where you can keep it through the middle of the day it's pretty easy because it's flat. You lay it on the ground and it gets the sun quite high. Um, that, that way they're successful, they do work for that. But anything where you're going to be walking through the scrub and have it hanging off your backpack not at the right angle they just they don't put out much you know you might get four or five hundred milliamps you know if you're lucky okay let's see what they got up to the time is 2.33 so it's sort of been now best part of an hour phone's up to 62 percent not a huge increase tablet's up to 78 percent so that's a big jump up all right um I can't see what the actual meter is actually saying they've put out. Uh, I'll check that in a minute in the shade somewhere and I'll tell you what that is. But this, just for some comparison there, the, it's a Samsung Galaxy S9 Plus. I think it's about a 3,600 milliamp hour battery. And the tablet's an S, oh, what is it? No, it's a Galaxy Tab A, 8 inch. Um, I think it's got a 5,000 milliamp hour battery. So, um, pretty good for an hour. 
we'll see what it actually put out. Okay, let's see what this guy actually put out. I'll plug it in here so we can actually see it. All right, so it's um, was on for one hour and one minute, and it gave about 1,065 milliamp hour. So it's a little bit over an amp. So that means it sort of averages its amp one amp for for an hour. Um, this panel normally does a bit better than that. Um, maybe it's got something to do with having the testing devices connected. Any which way, it's still respectable. Um, I'd be happy with that still. That would still do. We'll do a quick little bit about a buyer's guide. These guys, the one I just held up before, it's got three panels in it. Um, you will see online single ones of those panels with a single outlet on the back. And they call them 10 watts, but they're not. They're 7 watts. So, and when you say 7 watts with solar stuff, I have what they say. So in theory, if it was 10 watts, you divide watts by volts, so it's 10, watt, 10 divided by 5, you get 2 amps. That doesn't work with these. They use pulp with modulation regulators, so they're very inefficient. And so and really it's it's 7 watts, so you should get about 1.4 or something like that. By the time you halve that for inefficiencies, you're at your 700, 800 milliamps, and that's about what you're going to get out of those panels. So if you want to actually get a fair bit of power, if you want to charge things in bulk like power banks and that, get something with at least two, preferably three or four actual panels on it and you'll actually have some, some decent amps then. Um, that's about all I can say about them. Um, solar panels great, you need to have the sun out, you need to be able to spend some time to point your panels at the sun. Um, if it's in camp you can literally set your panel up the night before and point it where the sun's going to come up and you can chase it around all day and you can get good two amps out of that panel all day. Um, you know, you've got a 12,000 milliamp hour power bank. I run myself, I'll charge my EC and my phone off of that. Um, and I can probably charge my EC off it twice and, and my phone once. That will do me for a few days. Um, but if I'm gonna go for more than two or three nights, uh, I have to um, have to find other ways to charge it. They won't do it. will take six hours to charge that power bank up in camp in good sun. Anyway, if you like this kind of video, please give it a thumbs up and if you don't, I guess you can thumbs it down twice. <laughs> anyway, cheers for now. See you again next time.